Zluby's death. The cleaning goblet comes to see you weeping. Pet stick insect died in a mopping accident. Funeral. Somehow that feels like the bad way to do it, but I wanted the I wanted the tears. Welcome back everybody to episode 10 of this Let's Play of Legend of Keepers. We're playing as Serral the Enchantress and we are on mission 4 right now. The difficulty has definitely begun to spike. We started seeing level 4 and 3 heroes in the early dungeons. We're up to 5 already. We may, may see 6 on the next one. Some of our heroes started, sorry not heroes, some of our monsters started at level 2. So we're a little behind the curve against the uh, heroes. But we did start with our promotion, and uh, we've got a lot of fun tools to play with, and we've got some cool thorn synergies in this dungeon. So I really I can't wait for this ice impaler to get home, so we can have a three impaler team at the start, and uh, <laughs> do the thorns thing pretty effectively. Now we have a lot of money here, so we may head head to the trainer and get our thorns ones leveled up because I do want to make it kind of a. Um, a, a synergy out of the thorns and really kind of focus in on that. So let's go ahead and just train them up. I'm not even going to pay too much attention to what they get when they level up. It doesn't matter that much. I'm going to do it anyway. And then let's level up one of our trees because our, our secondary strategy is the tree. Sully or Sherman? Let's go with Sherman. Okay, we spent way too much money. So now we're off to do an event, I say. Icarus, a wizard with a strange hat, has fallen from the sky and landed in the entrance hall. He was carrying a magical artifact. Attacks targeting only the hero at the front deal 30% of final damage to the hero position behind the target. We don't do a lot of damage to the hero in the front. We tend to hit area of effects. We can't even really choose to do it that way. We only have like three monsters that can even... Well, maybe four... Well, maybe. Maybe we do want that. Eh, let's just take it. Ah, uh, ritual. This is what we want. So we get 100 essences of knowledge, and we can upgrade our spells that we have. So what was the most powerful one? It turned out to be this elemental flaw. 100 damage of their weakest thing is pretty useful. 5% maximum life as fire for each penalty applied let's hit that one it could there could be a situation where that's quite powerful and then we'll leave we'll save the rest of these essence pieces for the next time and then we've come to our next dungeon so we have ah no we don't have our ice impaler back yet darn so we'll go with these these three uh we'll leave you home you home we'll just take these six that'll be good we want to get some motivation back Let's go ahead and head into these uh, veterans here. Difficulty three of five with a disaster room. No resting room. We'll get a master bonus and a, a small amount of gold. There's a medium amount of gold, but it feels like small when everything costs a lot now to level up. Thorns to our next group of monsters. We can only use that one trap now. Uh, this is good. We'll finally be able to use our enchanted seeds on this group of monsters, which is very helpful. So we can actually use the thorns here. So now we have Somek, the shadow. These characters tend to have yeah, very high nature resistance, unfortunately. They apply poison, do nature damage in the front. So we're definitely going to want this big tanky one in the front here. Uh, we've got air damage in the front. Ooh, but you don't resist air. Maybe we do this one because it'll have a lot of um, thorns and it can regenerate a little bit. AoE fire, so it doesn't really matter where these ones go. I think I'll put you second because you're pretty tanky. Whoa, you're actually less tanky than the fire impaler. Okay. Disaster room. You have to skip our second trap room. Spell room. Second monster room. Uh, nature and air in the front. Wow. Pretty resistant, but you'll die to the fire pretty easily. Nature and air in the front. And you guys will turn into trees anyway. Okay, let's continue on. <laughs> okay, this is not going to help. 
Elemental Flaw might be helpful. Your weakest is air, so it's going to do 100 air damage, which will be 135 air damage. So that's pretty good. Poison Corpses. No, I think it's this one. So I might as well use Discharge because we're going to turn into a tree anyway. No, we're not. No, we're not. That's going to be back here. So let's go ahead and get another thing of thorns at the start. Thank you. It's quite dangerous to attack. Oh my god, he's gonna die. No! Wait! Wait, let me rethink my strategy. <laughs> Shit! Quite like the tiredness. Taking a lot of damage by hitting me. She just killed herself attacking these thorns creatures. That's pretty cool. Burning spikes uh, gains thor thorns if they're affected by burn. Nature weakness. I think we'll do this one again for the extra tiredness. It'll run out, actually. Thirty physical damage and frostbite. Give them ice damage over time, but they resist it a little bit. Snowballs. Ice damage applies easy target. Damage taken from traps increased by 100%. There are no more traps. Blizzard. Ice damage and slowed. I guess it's going to be that one. Enchanted seeds. <laughs> Lightning strike, air damage. Hurts that guy. Impairment, morale, and tiredness. Yeah, I'll give him the tiredness. Quite helpful to reduce their damage. Air da Whoa. Why is this going to kill you? Huh. I guess we'll just roots this one. We don't need to use the poison. Alright, 25 blood, 172 gold, and then we can get resistances, frozen rose. That's my best spell. It's really good. Uh I think I think we take frozen rose. i got some motivational changes. Go ahead and drag everybody in for now, just in case there's an event. So we go to the engineer business trip. Dang it, I don't want to send you away. What's this? Elementals, attacks, apply one additional effect stack. Okay, now hang on a second. These do not count as elementals. These three are elementals. Hmm... I think we're better off with the gold, but I don't want to give up my thorns since that's sort of the strategy we're going with. So we'll send this character out. That character was one of my thorns characters. What am I talking about? Do another business trip, I guess. Get some tears. That's good. Merchant, course, or event. Let's do a course. Uh, we can pay 250 to level this person up twice. That's fine. Eight weeks. We have enough creatures. Yeah, we do. We'll do something like that. Wait, no. Yeah, there we go. Alchemist, transmute blood or tears into another resource. So we could get a few 
could get some more money this way. Maybe we do that. Let's do that three times. Use up all of our tears, but we got uh, 225 gold, which is good. And now we're on to some veterans. We have two two choices here. One gives an artifact, but, and one gives more gold uh, and a master bonus, but it'll be harder to do. So we go with that one. We have Roland the Knight, level seven. This is Chahim the Mam Mam Mamluk and Jane the Hellbringer. Sorry, now the loudest plane in the world's going by. Sorry, everybody. So I guess it's gonna be Cactus. Gain enraged. You lose mess, less morale. Penalties, ooh, reduce penalties. Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh, they dodge the first trap. Dodges the activations of the first trap. Now that doesn't really matter for us because that trap is about buffing these monsters rather than hindering them. So not bad. Front physical. Put you in the front, you have the most armor. Level four, you can handle some extra damage. And air and ice in the back. Uh, looks like it's going to be you. You've got lots of health as well. It's a pretty good looking team. Here's their uh, penalty removing room. Can't place a second trap. Monsters. So these ones are just sort of a hodgepodge of whatever we have. So physical in the front. Does anybody have any armor? You have some armor. Air and ice in the back. There we go. I'm waiting for you. Should have a lot of thorns on our monsters now. Okay. I think it's going to be Elemental Flaw again, because when this is early in the dungeon, this one's pretty useless. This one's... Only ten, I mean, it's ten, 10 turns before it expires. I mean, I don't know that I'm going to kill these guys in 10 turns. Any of them. I think they're not going to die until they get around here. So I think we just use Elemental Flaw. That's going to be 125 nature damage. I dare you to hit my monsters. Okay, actually, they're hitting me a lot harder than I'm hitting them. Okay. Tiredness. Oh, that's pretty helpful. Oh, and it bounces to this one. I wonder if it applies the tiredness. Uh, it does not. Just the one in the front. herself on those thorns. Almost destroyed himself on the thorns. Okay, they get cleansed by the altar, but it doesn't really matter. They're pretty low. Okay. Lightning strike. Air damage. Now, they don't take any air damage, really. So, go with the debuff on the tiredness. This one hit a morale threshold, that's good. This is the best one here because it's going to uh, bounce to the one in the back. Let's kill that one off. Not getting another turn is pretty good.
Can we scare this guy out? No, we won't make it. All right, we got 27 blood, 219 gold. And let's see, we can do blight. That's a spell, magical brambles. I think we'll go with plus five of all resistances. Make us much tankier. And she has low health, so this is pretty valuable. Okay, a lot of motivation changes here. Um, leave you there for a moment. Now, the doctor is how we can improve her life. Um, but she's not that far away. Now, she only gets 15 per week, so it is going to take her 10 weeks to get all of her health back. I think we go to the engineer. I think I'm going to risk it. I'll be fine. More morale and thorns three to the next group. This is excellent. So this will uh, trigger twice now. Very, very cool. Don't have any tiers to upgrade this again. Therapist. That's for all of my creatures to get a morale point. I think we take that. Just have a free session. Business trip, a siege is where you rent out equipment. Oh no, they only want this one. I can't refuse, okay, <laughs> shit. Oh no, okay, let's, uh, oh God, do I do a course? I mean, that'll send somebody away for a while, but we are gonna get Sully back in time. So let's go ahead and do a course. Yeah, I like this. I like Dothra. She's pretty sweet. So we'll send her away for 250 for a little while. She'll, she'll come back level 4. That'll be nice. Um, which means we're going to need Sully. So we have our, our Thorns group is all together now. That's pretty cool. So we can do a little strategy with that. No, we can't. We, we sent our trap away. Oh, shit. All right. Um, no backing down. We take on the champions here. Rare reward. Lots of gold. They do have a health resting room, bit of a problem. But, uh, you know, I'm not scared. Let's, uh, let's do it. This thorn strategy is turning out to be kind of garbage. Okay, we have Seracius, Siriasis. We've fought this guy so many times. We'll take him down again, just like always. Sengard, the tracker, heals all of heroes maximum life by 10% at the start of each fight. So that's tw two times. Crap. Uh, Eddie gains dodge at the start of each fight. Also applies dodge to the hero. So the okay. Dang it. Okay, this is the one that takes less damage when they have low life and does more damage when they have high life. Okay. Guess it's poisonous plant. So physical in the front. Uh, fire in the back. Well, this one, yeah, we we'll probably need to have this one in the back. Yeah. No trap allowed. Okay, second group of monsters. Uh-oh, magical brambles are back, or our uh, enchanted seeds are back here. So we're going to have to use, like, one of these. This might be good. We might be able to snipe somebody off with this one by the time they get there. So we need physical. So we need armor in the front. Oh, God, these guys have low armor. Okay, so we're going to slap Sherman in the front. It's the most health. And then fire in the back. That's also a problem. Let's do that. What do you do? Nature damage? Nature is pretty good here. Maybe we take our spider. Grief weaver. <laughs> oh my god, 10 turns of nature weakness? That's pretty sweet. That means that this character no, still, still not nature. Okay. I think it's just elemental flaw here. Uh oh, they don't start with any thorns. We got a problem. Yeah. 
That was big damage. Why are you so weak to that? You're weak to ice. Cool. All right, let's get some regeneration. 27 health. It's not bad. We're just going to die. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm in danger. This is not looking good. Tiredness. I think we need to do it. Terrified. Morale loss. Now, they're not close enough, so I think we just do this. Huge damage. Uh, keep the tiredness up, I think. Elemental weakness. Let's do that one. This looks like we're gonna be so young and already a foot in the grave. We're gonna be taking these characters on on our own. Oh no! Stop healing! Stop doing that! We have an AOE, right? Oh no! We're in big trouble. Oh, wait a minute. This artifact affects Frozen Rose? Oh shit, this changes everything. I just did like 350 damage. I'm gonna take 350 damage though. This guy's dead on his turn. So we're gonna just, I mean, he's gonna block this, but we might see if it heals us anyway. Nope. We're in a bit of trouble here. Oh my God, are we gonna die to this? No, oh, please. So we'll do 50 and heal us by 25, I assume. Uh-oh, I think I'm gonna die. I'm still alive. Well, doesn't matter. I will show you how a true queen dies. Not to worry. The Lich Doctor will bring you back to life. Losing a treasure here and there is allowed for in the annual budget. Uh-oh, everybody. We, uh, we died. We're gonna have to start Mission 4 again. Maybe I should have been, uh, taking things that are more effective than just things to play around with. That's okay. Let's see if I get any uh, experience. I got a little bit. Almost a full level. All right, well, I think we're going to start that mission again. I am dedicated to completing it. Now, it turned out that the thorn strategy didn't really work very well because this creature here uh, is bad without burning. 
because its attack does nothing. And the thorns by itself doesn't really do enough, so... This one was okay. But the real stars of the show seem to be... Um, the trance, to be honest. So we'll probably just lean further into that one and maybe play this one a little bit smarter this time. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll get started since we've still got a little bit of time left. Uh, let's take a look at our spell orientation. Now it's different this time, which is cool. So we have 30 fire and ice ricochets if the ice resistance is negative. Morale and ice and tight. Oh, I love this one. I love these three. Okay, so let's take a look here. So we might be able to do a morale team, depending on what we end up getting in this one. So we had ended up with a lot of morale ones in the last one. So let's put the Thorns team in the back and like our Treant morale team up front. Okay, so let's let's head on over to the Engineer. Go ahead and upgrade this one and this one again. Same as last time. It's exactly the same, it looks like. Oh, too bad we can't afford any of these. Should have saved some money. Let's do an event. Golthor the Destroyer. Do you have a moment to spare to talk about our Lord and Tormentor, Golthor the Destroyer? Uh, we'll refuse for tears, because I think we're going to get lots of blood in this one, but I'd rather, so I'd rather get the tears. Do another event. Zluby's death. What? The cleaning goblet comes to see you weeping. Zluby, his pet stick insect, died in a mopping accident. Will you take Zluby to the resurrection room to harvest the goblin's joyful tears, sell the corpse to a gourmet chef, or organize a funeral? Funeral. Somehow that feels like the bad way to do it, but I wanted the I wanted the tears. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I think we'll call this episode to a close here on uh, on that that one. Poor Zluby. Oh, poor Zluby. All right. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I can't wait to play more of this, and I will see you in the next episode.